Alrighty you guys, so I'm going to take, sorry, I don't know why I didn't show myself at first, but I'm going to take a um, ovulation predictor test and I'm just going to show you guys. So um, it has these handy little charts. I've explained them before I think, but anyway, uh, my last cycle was 26 days instead of 28, so I'm going to try taking this test on day 9. Um, it's later in the day on day 9 though of my cycle, and so this says to take them on day 9 if your cycle is 26 days, day 11 if your cycle is 28 days. So I'm going to do today, um, late in the day on day 9, and then I think I'll do, I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so just Saturday. Right, so I need three drops right here, one, two, three. And we'll just let that start going. Alright, the timer is almost up. And I feel like I see a faint line. I'll let this focus a little bit. Okay, well it's probably hard to see, but I feel like I see a faint, faint line um, for the test part. But I'm sure it's just, I mean, I, I know that just means it's low. Um, my LH is low and it will increase. Um, so I'll try and get a better angle if I can. But uh, yeah, so that's fine. Um, it's only day 9. So, like I said, at probably day 10 or 11, I will do this again, and then 12 and 13 and 14 if I can. I only have three more tests, so I can't do that many, but um, day like 12, 13, and 14, I'll probably try it. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling good. So, sorry, I feel like I need to check that this is recording. Um, it is cycle day 12 for me, and I just took an ovulation test. I took one on day 9, I think it was. Um, I have the footage of that. You guys just saw it. But look at this one. Um, I feel like there's even less of a line this time than there was last time. There is a faint line, and I'll try and get that somehow. There is a faint line, but it's even more faint than the last time, and so I'm wondering if I ovulate really early, or if this test is wrong, or if my urine sample wasn't good or something, I don't know. But I'm really confused by it, I don't have a lot of um, ovulation tests on hand, but I think I might take another one at some other point today and see then what it's saying. Um, Alright, it's the next day and I just want to document this, so I'm taking a test and there's a weird pink line down the horizontal center right now, which has me kind of weirded out, um, but it seems like the line is coming in for the control. I don't expect anything, I'm just keeping my hopes low, um, but we'll see what happens. emotional after yesterday's fiasco. I did end up taking two ovulation tests. Neither one seemed very promising or very like positive. <laughs> and so this one seems like it might have a little bit of a faint line. So I think I'm going to um, go buy some more today. I All I can do is keep taking these tests and baby dancing and hoping and praying that maybe I'll get lucky and it'll stick. And yeah. I thought day 14 was my peak day of ovulation and I feel like I see a faint line again. Um, I definitely feel like it's showing up on camera, I just don't know what's going on. So that's my day 14. Alright, hey guys, so today is day 14 I believe in my cycle and it is the peak day that I've been waiting for a good result and I think I see one coming, um, like literally on the test. <laughs> I'll let you guys look at it. Um, but yeah, so it looks like it's positive which is really nice because I think they've all been negative so far and it was getting really discouraging because I started Are you waiting for test results too? Do you want me to be ovulated? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, okay, this is going off. Um, so, three minutes later, and it is totally a positive test. I'm so excited! So, um, yeah, look at that craziness. Okay, okay, I just rambled on for a while, and I thought I was filming, and I wasn't, but basically, got my positive. I'm so excited, um, and that... So, basically, it was a rough journey of, um, not knowing what to expect from these tests, being really discouraged by like four tests of negatives and finally getting a positive today on day 15 of my cycle. Um, I'm a little sick, but I'm getting better. And I'm so excited and ready to um, hopefully make a baby and I'm really, really hopeful that it'll happen this time. Um, quick little like PSA or whatever is that um, Luke and I will be trying this cycle and next cycle and then taking a few cycles off, like three or four months off and then we're gonna start trying again in June if it doesn't happen this cycle or next cycle. So. 
here's to hoping. Um, so three cycles trying, three or four, wait, one, two, three, I think, yeah, three cycles of trying and then taking some time off and then doing like eight or nine cycles of trying again or ten. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm so excited. And thanks for tuning into the journey. I hope you have a great day. God bless. And I know a lot of people are watching this who are also on their TTC journeys. Um, and I just want to say I'm praying for you. I obviously know how you feel. Um, for some of you at least. I don't know. Um, I haven't gone through loss or anything. But I, I feel for the people that are trying. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.